Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to change the tail gut, otherwise known as tail piece adjuster. This is in case your tail gut breaks, or if you wanna change the after length, which is the distance between the bridge and the tail piece, or if you just wanna change your tail piece. Tools to have when you're doing this job. This is a chin rest key. You can also use a paper clip if you don't have one of these babies. This is a clipper to cut off the excess. In this case, we're using a nylon adjuster called Sacconi. So you're gonna cut the excess off. You could use scissors if you like, and then a lighter to melt the end if you like. It's not necessary, but this will prevent the nut from stripping off the end in case there's too much tension. Also, I like to have some kind of rag. This is a Fiddler Shop polishing rag. Most of you guys have this that have made orders with us. You could just slide that underneath the tailpiece, like so. That will keep the tailpiece from making marks on the top of the instrument when you take the bridge off in the beginning. Okay, let's get started. I always like to lay the violin on top of something soft, like the, your case cover, or in this case, I use my gym towel. Anyway, you wanna loosen the strings first. So, and then you wanna take down the bridge. You see I put the cloth underneath the tailpiece to keep it from scratching, and I'm gonna, it's loose enough that I could just flip that bridge off. And now I want to continue loosening the strings enough that I could take the ball ends off the back side. Now some people, so that you don't lose the order of the strings, you could just kind of roll them up to get them out of the way like this and maybe tuck them in a little bit so they don't unwind at the top like that. Now your tailpiece is loose. Sometimes your end button will be loose too, but in this case it's not. If it's loose, you just need to stick it back in when you're gonna tighten everything up again. Now, looking on the back side here, you see how it's put together. They left quite a bit on this particular adjuster right here, but you can cut off more than that. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead, and push this through like this. So now I'm gonna unscrew one end of the tail gut right here. Just unscrew it, take it off, and keep it. You might need it. Pull that end out, and then stick the rest of it through and pull the other end out. So this is what you'll get if you order tailpiece. Usually you won't have the adjuster, but sometimes you will. All right, so we take your brand new tailpiece adjuster or tail gut, and you're gonna take off the nut on one side. I'm sure it's not called a nut, but I have no idea what it's called. All right, now you're gonna stick it in from the inside through the hole, boom, and then back in from the outside. Pull that one side up so you can get to it easier and put that nut back on. I always like to do it as tight as possible to begin with. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the violin and we're gonna check the distance. So I like to start off with the tail gut or tail piece adjuster as tight as possible and then lengthen it if necessary. In this particular case, it seems pretty perfect because when you tighten the strings, it's gonna pull forward. Also, it usually stretches a little bit, right? So this is a good start right here. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna cut off the excess. I'm gonna leave about an eighth of an inch here. Cut the other one off too. Okay, I'm just gonna melt that just a little bit. There we go. So it usually expands into a little ball on the end, so it won't slip as easily. Okay, so now we're ready to put it back on. There's nothing sticking out that can vibrate on the instrument and make noise when you're playing. Now we're gonna stick the strings inside the slots, depending on what kind of tailpiece you have. And I like to have it just the strings just loose enough so that it'll hold together without me having to hold the whole thing together. The D is a little short in this case, lengthen a little bit. If you want, you can have a little tool to stick those strings in. So now I'm gonna slowly tighten the strings and make sure they're in their grooves, but not much at all because I'm gonna still have to put the bridge on. Okay, so now it's time to put the bridge back on and I have the strings just tight enough to so they're barely touching the top of the fingerboard. We're gonna put that bridge on and we're gonna try to 
keep the same location it had before. So if you have marks on the top from the bridge, use those marks. If you don't, use the inside notches on the F holes to get it up and just stand it up. After you stand it up, check again the alignment between the inside notches. Then you put the strings in their previous slots. And then you want to line up the strings centered to the fingerboard, just like that. I like to lean the bridge slightly back before I tune from zero because I'm going to be pulling that bridge forward. Now it's time to tune the instrument. Then I like to check that the bridge hasn't gone forward too much and it went forward a little bit so I'm going to pull it back carefully so it doesn't slap on the body of the instrument. Now I'm going to double check that bridge again because like I said, every time you're tuning it from zero, you're pulling it forward. As mentioned earlier, the tail gut did stretch after I tuned it. It came forward about a quarter inch, but that's pretty good. I hope you found this video helpful and if you need any accessories, we're happy to help you out at fiddlershop.com. Thanks for watching. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here, right there. Do it. there we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. I'm going to try to get the tempo and you can put that in there.